right, hello everyone. So today we are going to talk about some exercises that you can do if you have an older horse. And so these are just some simple walk exercises that are great if you have a horse that's older that needs a long warm up. I know a lot of you guys ride an older horse. Let me know in the comments how old your horse is. This is Kensington, he's not old, he's only six. But you know, on a day that I wanna have a little easier day with him, I do a lot of work at the walk. You can accomplish a lot at the walk. You can really work on the basics. You can work on your position. You can work on suppleness. So believe it or not, you can do a lot at the walk. And particularly if you have an older horse, you really want to save your horse. So uh, doing a lot of like extended trot and extended canter is just going to break your horse down. But if you focus on these gentle exercises, it's going to help prolong your horse's career. So really these exercises are good for horses of any age, but particularly Particularly if you have an older horse, here are some good exercises for you to work on. So be sure to like my channel. Also check out in the description, there's a link for you to sign up for my email list so you can get notified when I post new videos and my blog post every week. So the first thing that's really important when you are working with an older horse or with any age horse is that you just wanna give them time at the walk, if possible, to let them walk on a loose rein. And um, it a little bit depends, like if your horse is super crazy and unfocused and it's not safe to walk on a loose rein, then that's something that you want to work towards. When I'm just walking here on a loose rein, I really am just trying to feel like my horse's walk is through his whole body. So I really want to start to feel like his back and his whole top line and everything is swinging while I'm walking here. And then I also want to focus on with Kensington, like he needs to stay walking up there on his own. So I don't want to have to nag him. I want him just to stay walking on a loose rein with being able to push my heels down and take my lower leg off. And he's really got to stay walking like this on his own. So no nagging, he's got to stay marching. So what this does is a few things. When they really are walking like this, they have a lot of motion through their stifles and through their back and through their hips. So the walk is really a great gate to build fitness and also suppleness. So if you have basically any horse, but particularly if you have an older horse, plan to just walk on a loose rein for a good five to 10 minutes before you even take up the contact. And you'll notice here, you know, like when my horse is looking off or getting too distracted, I'll do a little something like if he starts just looking outside the arena, I'll kind of use a little inside rein and leg and just say, hey, look in here. Um, so I'm still checking in with him mentally and I'm still in tune with where his mind is. You never want to just check out and like let the wind blow through your ears because that's when your horse is going to freak out and you're going to end up um, getting in trouble. So the next thing that's a great exercise to start working on suppleness, particularly with an older horse, is just to start doing some little turns and asking your horse to bend a little bit. So I'm gonna just start, I wanna keep the same activity in the walk. I'm gonna take my reins just a little bit shorter, and then I'm gonna start walking a serpentine, and I'm gonna ask him to just gently look around to the inside when I make this turn. So once you've spent you know, some time just on a loose rein, you're gonna start working on some bending lines where you're just gently asking your horse to look to the inside and curve around the inside leg. Good boy. And then I'm asking him to look to the right and curve around my right leg. And so if you, your horse is stiff, this is a good way to start getting them a little bit more supple. There's a lot that you can do at the walk. So I think that we forget, you know, and we just think, oh, I have to like trot and canter and trot and canter. But remember that the walk is a gate. When you are in a show, um, you get a score for your walk and your walk is always a coefficient. So once you've kind of done some big serpentine loops like that, you can gradually work towards doing a little bit of a tighter serpentine, where now I'm doing some tighter turns 
and bending him, getting him off my inside leg, moving him into that outside rein, making my turns just a little smaller so that I'm challenging that suppleness with him. Good boy. There, good. So when you're walking these smaller serpentine loops, you really wanna think about your horse's body is curving around the line so they're not falling in and they're not falling out. Your inside leg keeps them from falling in and your outside leg keeps the hip from falling too much to the outside. Good boy. Good, and then any time that you know, you've know you done some walk on a contact, it's always good to go back to a longer rein. So another exercise that I like to play around with at the walk is seeing how low I can get my horse to go in their neck. When you do the free walk, if your horse would like drag their nose in the dirt, that would be good. So particularly if you have a tense horse or a horse that's stiff, just playing around with trying to get that neck super low. And so the way that I do this is I kind of have my hands a little wide. I'll kind of like bend and move the bit a little bit around in his mouth. And then when I feel like he'll put his head more down, then I follow my hand forward like that. So really just working on how low you can get your horse's head to go. This accomplishes a few things. So for one, it stretches his back. When his neck goes down, then his back has to come up. The other thing that this does is it, is it tests your horse's relaxation. So when your horse is relaxed, they will put their head down. If your horse is super tense and nervous and anxious, their head's going to be straight up in the air. So this is another good exercise that you can practice at the walk. Good boy. And then another one that I like to do, especially with older horses. And again, you know, since you don't want to spend as much time like going around and around in your medium trot on an older horse, you really want to save your horse. The more that you can work out in the walk, the better. So another exercise that I love doing is little leg yields at the walk. So you're just gonna start by turning up the quarter line. And again, when you take up the reins, your horse has to stay in front of the leg and walking forward. So like here, good boy. When I take up the contact, Kensington gets a little bit like, oh, I think we should stop now. So this is a, another good place where you can just gently be getting your horse on the aids, getting your horse in front of the leg without causing too much um, strain on them. Good boy. So again, I'm turning up the quarter line. I'm first gonna get him straight. Then I'm gonna start pushing him over. There, 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 there. Good boy. And then you can also mix into this transition to the halt. Good. Back to the walk. Boy. And then your leg yield again. So there's a lot that you can do at the walk. And, um, you know, it's really, it's not boring if you're if you're focusing on something, if you're focusing on your leg yields and your suppleness and your transitions, you can spend a lot of time at the walk and it's really beneficial, particularly for an older horse or a stiff horse or like, like with Kensington today, he needs to have an easier day, but I can still get him out and do a lot with him at the walk and get him moving and get his brain thinking about what I want without causing a lot of stress on him. So now I'm gonna do my leg yields off my right leg. You always wanna make sure that you work your horse evenly left and right. So if you do three leg yields off your left leg, you wanna do three leg yields off your right leg. 
boy. Boy. And I'm thinking about keeping that swing in his back, keeping the activity in the walk, keeping his pole the highest point. Keep walking. Boy. Moving him over. Boy, that one's nice and square. Good. Boy, so those are just some exercises that you can play around with at the walk. Um, and it's really good in dressage, you know, our goal is to prolong our horse's career. So doing these gentle exercises at the walk, you can go a long way towards training your horse and getting your horse better on the aids without breaking your horse. So particularly if you have an older horse, um, some of the older horses in my program, they're really great teachers. You can learn a lot from them, um, but it's important to just focus on the basics, spend a lot of time at the walk, stay away from really tight turns, and stay away from doing a lot of medium and extended trot and canter. With an older horse, it's more important that you can learn as much as possible from them with being gentle with them. And you're not necessarily going to be able to like get huge gates out of them, but you can really focus on the details and focus on your position and focus on, um, you know, finding the correct aids for your horse. So I hope this video is helpful and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Good boy, Kensington. Okay, the end.